Man, it is too goddamn hot in Vegas. But I'm used to it. But your boy had to take his hair off, man. I'm I was tired of that long hair shit. Long hair don't care. No, I cared. I absolutely cared. I was hot. Fuck that. Walking around with a mop on my head. Screw that shit. So, plus I was tired of Joe from Joe's Multiverse, like, trying to grow his hair out and always, you know, he's trying to look like me and shit. So, I was like, screw it. I'm going to look like figurehead. Except for I, I still got hair. You know what I mean? I get to enjoy the, the, uh, the you know, the nice cleaned up look. Probably have to pick my head in another five years. Just kidding, dog. Speaking of figurehead, uh, man, who saw this dude's, oh, by the way, we're not doing, uh, Wishlist Wednesday today, I, because we're coming back from a four week, or a vacation week, or what, weekend, or whatever, I just, now I'm, like, in recovery mode, did a lot of, a lot of, uh, drinking, sauce, drink, I'm hitting the, hitting the bottle for party mode, or whatever, and, uh, just taking a step back for a minute, kind of let, see if the videos that I have out just kind of generate some views here and there. No big deal, but I'm, but I'm back players, and with that, because I'm talking about figurehead, I wanted to show off, I, I was talking to him yesterday, I was like, hey man, cool if I do this, da 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 da, he was like, absolutely man, so then boom, he sent me, everybody's, if you follow him, you've seen it on Instagram, this low light is badass, uh, custom, Fits right in with the G.I. Joe classified. You know what I mean? And, dude, I, uh, this shit had me geeked. I was just so, like, not only is it does it look good with the paint apps, you know, or is it, you know, just um, fits in with the G.I. Joe classifieds, man, but it, it's a master low, low light. You know, this is, uh, the dude is a master of his craft. He does custom work. Check him out on Instagram. It's at figure underscore head. F-I-G-U-R. At underscore head. Head. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, shit, I, this is something that I would put on a wish list Wednesday. You know what I mean? Like, we all see customs on, on all this shit, and we, and the, you know, we're like, damn, dude, like, I kind of want that. But the thing that's cool with these custom, these guys that do these custom works, you know, most of the time you can contact them and they can, uh, you know, you can work something out. They'll do a custom for you. I know Figurehead does. You just have to talk to him and go go with what he, you know, he's got going on. Because I know he's got work in process. You just got to find where he's at. And, you know, I'm sure he's willing to work something out. If you go over there, tell him Toy God sent you. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Yeah, man, I just wanted to show this off today because this thing was such a beautiful action figure. I know it sounds weird saying it like that, but this thing is so freaking amazing looking. I like the paint apps. I like the look. He fits right in with G.I. Joe Classifieds. Um, and you're going to see in, you know, look at look at what else he's got up in there. He's got he's got Spirit. That's not the Spirit from the, the, uh, the Joe's Multiverse giveaway. It's close, but it's not the one. The one that he says that that's going to be in the giveaway is... 10 times better, so, and I, be on the lookout for that, too, and, dude, there's another one that he was showing off briefly yesterday in a live, and it was, if you guys know about the, ne from G.I. Joe, Nemesis Enforcer, he showed off some of the body, and then the, um, the wings, the wings are articulated, and they're accurate as, f f la la. I don't, sorry, I'm not trying to cuss too much, they're accurate as hell to the, the uh, actual character, Nemesis Enforcer. So yeah, I'm like that's that's one I'm like super excited for. Uh, I really want to see this. Um, I really want to see this one get done because I that was one character that always stuck out to me in the GI Joe movie cartoon. Like I was just like, who the hell is that and what is he? You know, like a lot of people don't like that the uh, when Cobra Law came in, the whole like sci-fi element or whatever like. Uh, you know, like creature looking shit with G.I. Joe, but I, I, I liked it. That's what made G.I. Joe for me. It was like, I like the whole, you, you know, you kind of got the military realism, but then you bring in some sci fi shit or whatever. I don't like the guns, okay? I'm not a fan of G.I. Joe guns and their fucking laser sounds and shit. I don't like that shit, but that's fine. I'll see right past it because when they're my figures, they get real guns over here, baby. 
Oh, you know what? And here's something I'll throw on that uh, wish list Wednesday because he was actually asking about this. Figurehead was asking about this yesterday. Sorry, I'm. It's not. A, it's not very. Not being a very good role model. I'm a smoker, unfortunately. Um. He was talking about this yesterday. Figurehead. He was. He brought up the Mezco Thanos. And uh, at first, when I seen it, I was just kind of like, whatever. But I did. I looked it up again last night, and I, I take it back. I want this thing. I don't have a Thanos period figure. I, I've, I've seen the ones from Marvel Legends, uh, and the Diamond Select. I think it is, Marvel Select or whatever. And I've almost got them a few times. But one, I like Mezco because of the, the accessories that come with it, that gauntlet. Um, the hand options. That that's why I like Mesco because uh I don't like all it, all their products. I, I just I cherry pick out of Mesco because like there's some paint paint apps on like faces. Some of those faces on some of them figures they look very uh bland for paying paying that much for a figure and then these faces kinda look just blotted. You, you know, you know what I'm talking about if you if you collect Mesco. And they're kind of shit. And then you got the Mezco fanboys. They're like, I'll buy every fucking Mezco. Cool, dude. Enjoy that fucking bank account draining while that f the figure that you just got to open and close. And then, you know, you just collect fucking dust. I, I, I keep my figures rotated. They're articulated constantly and rotated. Rotisseried. Brought blow with me today too. I just said fuck it. I was like, what guy do I feel like deep inside that I would be today? And I was like, you know what? Fucking major blood. Fucking pay me, dude. Pay me to hunt down people. Dude, I, I, that's my all-time job right there. Pay me to be a mercenary, dude. Hired, I hired security. I got you. I got you, Nick. Here's uh, here's this much. Go take him out. No problem. You got it. Just make sure you have a lawyer for me, okay? You bail me out, and you give me a good lawyer. That's all I'm asking. But yeah, going back to Thanos, I want that Thanos. Now that I've looked at it, looks good, stacks up well against other um, 112 scale. Uh, again, the accessories, the face options. I like it. I like it. And figure I was trying to ask people, what do they think about it? You know what, bro? I'm digging it, and I think I'm going to get it. And if you don't got it, you should go get it. Because that figure is going to be a, 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 a bitch to get later. I can see see that one being a pain in the ass to get your hands on. Because you know these Mezco fuck fanboys. Sorry. Sorry. Um, they, they eat it all up, and then they, they those prices go out the roof. So, so fuck them, you Mezco fuckers. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so today not too much of a wish list Wednesday. Just wanted to show off a buddy of mine's uh, low light. I think it was phenomenal work, man. Good ass fucking paint, everything. Just like good job, man. Like that is a masterpiece, and he fits right in with the GI Joe classified. And you, sir, are a goddamn master of the craft. Um, go follow Figure Ed, and uh, you know tell tell him Toy God sent you if you go over there, and. Yeah, go check him out, man. Cause uh, and then you know he he's a good dude. Period. You need to talk. You know he'll he'll hit. You know he'll talk to you or whatever. If you got got some things you want to work out or whatever. And then uh, also, uh, yeah, man. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna come up on that that Thanos. Not I don't know about anytime soon, but I'm definitely gonna end up getting that. Cause if there's a Thanos that I need, it's that one. So yeah, um, we're back in action. Keep rolling. Keep on the good vibes. And uh, see you soon.